you know, considering today's landscape of the, the way the mu music is. Shit is crazy. How do you see it though? And it's crazy, man. Niggas on drugs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas pushing all this type of crazy shit. You know, like, mm. um. But I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it is what it is, right? Like, like, we not stupid, you know. So I'm not gonna act stupid, right? You know. And this is the gods we building with right now. So, you know, and anybody else watching. Mm -hmm. And it's like the music entertainment industry is. You know, it's not owned by original people. Mm. You know, when it comes to levels of ownership, right? So, as, so also when it comes to like, when you're dealing with the people who are owning this and funding these type of, you know what I mean, these labels, right? They have the power to sign different individuals and put million dollar budgets behind individuals to push the music, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to think about it like this. You're a grown man. I'm a young man. You know? Children are out here, you know, listening to music and stuff. Ideally, I would like to live in the best world. So would you. Mm -hmm. So the people, if the people that 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 were at these record labels thought the exact same way, mm -hmm. they would put their money behind people that promote certain values to the people. So when you see certain values and messages being promoted, you have to think that there are grown people sitting in an office building that come to work and work their nine to fives or whatever, mm -hmm. and they're like, hmm, let's put a couple million behind behind this and let's put a couple million behind that. So when you turn on the radio, if all you hear is like, yo, I'm popping my freaking, I mean, to, to drugs and all this type of stuff, not to talk down to anybody who's going through shit and feeling like they have to whatever because mm. I go through stuff I smoke weed you know what I'm saying drink whatever you know what I mean and mm. but at the end of the day if that's all you hear then you can't forget that it's like yo there's people that's putting money to push this that's funding this right yeah like cause it's like it's not coming from nowhere like you know and it right. costs money and it's a real big complex industry that's built around these things so when you ask me how do I feel about the landscape mm. I'm not stupid I know that's the landscape that's mm. the landscape I'm in like what am I gonna do I'm gonna be like man I don't like the fact that these just like it's a like prodigy said it's a war going on outside no man safe from like mm. you know and me as an artist I'm not safe from the fact that I live in a world where certain things are being pushed and and like you know we in this especially with the social media era where it's like, you know, so much, we see so much video, video, videos and audios and images of, of, and I'm just talking about on a general level of so much content, so much data mm. on a, like a young person. Think about it, like a hundred years ago from the span of like being like, let's say 10 years old to eight to 18. In those eight years, a hundred years ago, like now we're in 2018, that's like 1908, a mm. hundred years ago. In the span of being 10 years old to 18, the amount of data and content that you would take in. Whenever, the, 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 2008 or 200? 2018, oh, 2018 part, yeah. Two, uh, you said 1908. Yeah, I said 19. Yeah, you <laughs> correct the math. You know, you no, 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 no,
it's hard for it, it, it can become hard to just you just become desensitized to it absolutely to the point where it's like ah oh, this is just whatever like you know to the point where now it's like we're drawn towards the most craziest stuff mm -hmm. that's what gets our attention because it's like we there's just so much stuff it's just been, been so much stuff that it's like naturally people are gravitating towards the most craziest stuff you got to put rainbow colors in the air mm -hmm. and do all this type of crazy stuff and because it's, it's like we're just so used to seeing so much stuff that it's like oh we just people just want to see whatever now and that's mm -hmm. kind of like the mind frame i find a lot of young people is just in going like, in you the know, wrong direction it's just like there's just so much stuff that it's like i just want to see some crazy stuff like that's you know, right. so and it's like me now, being an artist that try, has to exist in this landscape, where it's like I'm not trying to do no crazy challenges, no, I mean crazy dance. Challenge. Like, that's not me. I, I'm not that type of guy. Like I'm not the super goofy individual. I'm gonna right, do right. the crazy. I'm gonna jump over the counter and do some crazy stuff to get a bunch of views online. So it's like it, I just gotta. It's like you know, you gotta be real creative. Mm find real creative ways to get to the youth because like I said there's there's been so much stuff passing through their on their phone and that they're seeing you know every day that it's like you it's, it's you can't just like unless you have that real powerful wisdom to just record yourself and or just get in front of them and just say something where it's like they're gonna get their you're gonna really get their attention mm. it's you just hard to get it's like you, you gotta fight for their attention right, and this is the right. crazy thing that you know the devil is very good at this because mm -hmm. he he fights to keep their attention because mm -hmm. remember a lot of this crazy shit that's all this crazy stuff is being funded by the devil absolutely and it's so the devil's funding all this crazy shit or whatever and it's like i'm over here like yo peace do the knowledge like it's not gonna work it's hard you know so it's like well, you it gotta find creative it ways it could it could work you can do it in doing it in creative ways mm, that's absolutely. where i find you gotta find creative ways to get to the attention of the youth because mm. they looking at a whole bunch of crazy shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know right. what I mean? So that's, that's my, right. that's what I, you know what I mean? So it's like just getting the right production, I find like it's my thing, you know, like working right, right now, getting the right production and working on my production, and, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you do most of the right own. sounds. You yeah, most, you know, mm -hmm. so getting the right sounds to try to get them, you know, get their attention. Because once, once you got their attention, they gonna see the jewels that I dropped in places. Cause I've been doing music for a little. You know what I mean? I have a little, little discography I'm building. You know, so Please. I got jewels in there. So my my thing is just trying to get the attention of the youth. So that when that once I get once I got them, they gonna they gonna see the jewels. They gonna. You know what I mean? Right, That's right. what I'm on right now, specifically as far as trying to exist in this music landscape. You know, mm. do the right musical, make the right musical moves and the right sounds. Put the right sonics out there that can grab. Get the get the youth, cause this is what this is about. Mm -hmm. I can't be naive and be like, yo, come through. You know what I mean? On some out of time stuff, you know. That's mm -hmm. the, I gotta plant the right fr fruit to get the right results. So it's like I, I analyze what the youth is thinking. Like I'm always aware. I'm not. I'm 23. The youth is not 23. The youth is 16, 17, 15. So I try mm -hmm. to put myself into their mind state and not keep thinking of how I think. I try to think of how are, how are they processing information on a day-to-day -day basis? How can I reach them? What is the way that they consume music? And what are the things that they're analyzing and seeing? And how can I incorporate that? What are the good elements of that that I can incorporate into my branding? Mm -hmm. And what's the type good type of sound? What would be a good song to put out that'll attract them into my brand and get them to be, buy into my brand? Because that's kind of what it is. It's like people mm -hmm. are selling the, the themselves for lack of a better term like right. figuratively you got to get people to buy into your brand now more so than the music because like right 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 it's so much data coming in that it's like but by, by the time i heard your song i seen 20 things and i've heard the 50 other things so it's like I, you got to buy into the the look and it, it's crazy because it's social media stuff i'm just aware that all of these aspects and dynamics are around so mm. i try to just be aware of these dynamics and use them to my benefit if Mega did this, did this.